Right, I'm in um, Whirlbury Woods and I'm at Whirlbury Fort. The Iron Age Fort, also home to the Romans. To soldiers in some of the world wars that would be dug in up here. All piles of rubble now, but it extends, all these stones extend way back there through the trees there and you do get people that have got a lot of knowledge of this site um, that come up here and they're still investigating um, as I've reported before there's grain holes, burial holes, skeletons have been found in the past um, probably are other artifacts, it's geological um, And I like to come up here. I know I've been reporting on this place now probably since 2007 when we moved to Weston and I started to come out and explore. Although I've been out with Zara a couple of times. I think we did come up to the fort many, many moons ago when she lived in Weston. But I wasn't totally unaware then of the history and the significance. I wasn't looking at the history then. Um, but I do find it all very interesting because a lot of the history that was going on is very tied up with my family tree stuff that I do. What was happening in England at the time. England, Wales, Scotland, all of it really, Ireland. And um, the peoples that came before us. Where I'm walking, many have walked, going back over the centuries. You get all this, this stuff here comes out in a lovely blue colour in the summer. Um, and it's very overgrown now, but last spring I, the volunteers have been up here and um, with the wardens and that and pruned it all back to expose the um, the archaeology if you like. See somebody's been doing, they, they sometimes you find features up here that people have been doing. Um, they come up here sometimes to do to make things and um, here you've got a bit of an example of someone building a bit of a defence place there look. I mean you probably get army cadets up here playing soldiers and things like that you see. Sometimes you get some magnificent structures that people have been playing and building. Probably children. Um, they like building things, kids, don't they? Playing up here and having fun. It's a lovely place to come and play if you're a kid. There's another little structure over there. Anyway, we go down into this dip now. Well, there's several of what I call my favourite trees down here that I've been passing by ever since uh, we first explored here, really. And I'm just going to say... <coughs> probably a bit of pollen still about. Something like that, then. It's like flu. I don't know what it was. It was quite big. Uh, yeah, this is all part of the fort. That. And there's um one of my trees up there that I always like to say hello to. Well, I like to say hello to all of you. And there's one. That one there. It always looks a bit spooky. That one, with all the vines growing up it. Yeah, I've got that covered in snow in the winter times. Here we've got a grain hole down there. There's many of those. A lot of that are hidden in the woods here. Yeah, there we go. It's still standing. You don't look very secure though. I just met a gentleman that I speak to quite a lot when I'm out. He's a walker. He goes abroad. 
in the summer he goes walking a lot abroad and um, <coughs> he uh, we were talking about the storm yesterday a so-called storm that didn't really hit the southwest as it was supposed to have <sighs> never came that close just a very very tiny fringe and then we come out in a minute we come out to a, a cleared area now I don't know if this was cleared deliberately but <coughs> this cleared area has got lots of um, grain pits in that were discovered they're quite deep they're lined with the bricks or stones I should say not bricks and this the, the tree over there in front of us is what I used to call the favorite tree where Brandy and I would come and make our way to the tree to admire the view over Sand Bay if we carry on on this track but this will take us down to near the seafront but I'm not doing that I'm not doing that today I'm going down I'm going over to the favorite tree and then I'm going back through the wood and then down the Roman road towards Birnbeck Pier like I said there's lots of grain pits and I have videoed them all before and they're dotted all over this place you can't go running through there you'd fall down one and they're quite deep some of them but there's the favorite tree it's all overgrown this was all cleared and cut down I don't know if they'll, they do it all the time and it's quite an effort to maintain it in that condition it's so that it can be seen by visiting school children and students so they can do their history and their archaeology and their geology it's all pruned back now this little area here is often used where people have private barbecue little barbecues and a picnic and there's the tree my holy tree my Palestinian type tree it has lost a few branches in the last, over the, the last seven years and then we've come to here we are come to this where a lot of people stand here and view sand bay sand point the crocodile wells over there um, through there you've got I think that's Cardiff over there or the white buildings are like I said I've videoed this many times but uh, this is 2013 the 30th of Oct the 29th of October Some white horses out there today. Right, over and out.